I have um, I have a clip you sent Lee um, from Andrew Tate on how to retain your masculinity. Yes. I just want to play a little bit of that. Oh, and then here we go. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what y'all think. And get angry. That's how revolutions start. Like you can call me as sexist as you want, but screaming females don't cause revolutions. It's screaming men who cause revolutions. And when people say that's not true, women go marching. Da-da. Yeah, women go marching, but without men beside them at the barriers, without men in police uniforms to protect them, no one's going to care about them or their ideas. And none of their ideas are going to be enforced, right? It's only men getting angry in large groups that governments are afraid of because we are the ones who are combative. So if they can reduce our appetite, for combat or our appetite for conflict, then that makes it a lot easier for them to inflict anything they decide to inflict upon us. It's, it's like the days of old, right? The, the, the invading army would come in and kill all the military age males or all the boys, which will soon grow to fighting age. And they did that on purpose so that they could do whatever they wanted with the society. Yeah. And now they're trying to do the same thing, but they're just mentally castrating men, mentally castrating men yeah. to the point where they are upset with the life they're in and they're depressed and they're confused. And they're too busy chasing their own tail, trying to pay the rent to wake up and look around them and understand how badly they're being screwed. And that's what they're deliberately doing. And they're trying to kill the masculine spirit because they need the masculine spirit gone to inflict their tyranny. The first thing I would recommend. So the the first thing I want to say, um, (laughs) uh, a lot of people immediately like uh, react to when people say they're doing this intentionally. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you immediately jump to like, you're a conspiracy theorist. Mm-hmm. Like, this is not like, if you ask, you know, whoever he's accusing of enforcing this, if you ask them, they don't, they don't think they're doing this. So obviously it's not true. You mm-hmm. know, like that, that's their first like takedown. It's like, nah, you're just a conspiracy theorist. Right. Um, Andrew Clavin, um, another Andrew has, <laughs> he has this idea of like, um, he talks about like, it's not, it might not be a conspiracy theory, but it's a conspiracy of ideas. And so mm-hmm. showing that like when you inflict certain policies, when you raise a culture a certain way, like, you know, like we were just talking about coddling of the American mind talks about that, of like the type of um, person that you think people are and what they should, uh, how they should engage in culture, whether they should be t- protected or taught how to engage with conflicting ideas or what mm-hmm. have you. Like as that leaks down from the personal all the way up to uh, how you run a city, a state, a nation, um, all of that leads to a type of what seems like a conspiracy mm-hmm. of like, it seems like you're doing this on purpose. Like you're making people weak. It's like actually the, the intentions might have been something else, mm-hmm. but it's yeah. these conspiracies of ideas of like, this is how I think you should run a city. Yeah. These are the policies I think should happen. This is how I raise my kids. This is how we should teach in schools. Right. And then it ends up becoming this type of system that uh, posits a certain framework that yeah. you know obviously mm. he's responding to yeah mm. yeah um so w- with with that idea um is is what you're saying like uh, a mother is intentional about keeping her children sh- safe and then eventually goes up to a national level where it's not so much intentional you know it's not mm-hmm. the same as the mother but it's like but this is the way things have been going yep. and this is what we've been doing yep so now it's just sort of the norm yep yeah, yeah okay. exactly I just want, yeah yep um yeah, so aside aside from that, um, he talks about men needing to fight, men meeting, yeah. needing, um, they're the ones that cause revolutions. Um, and, you know, women don't necessarily don't. get things yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. His, his, his historical example is, I think, a perfect example, just like a representation of Tate, because on one hand, I'm not really sure that's true. <laughs> Like yeah. it, it might be, it, yeah. but the thing is, it sounds true, right? You know, it, like it's like, oh, this is yeah. like I have no right. idea if that's actually what historical right. armies did. But if you think about it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could see that. Mm-hmm. You speak with with enough authority, yeah, uh, it's right. Gonna sound true, right? It's so. like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I could see that. But I, right. I think his language of castration mm-hmm. is mental ca- castration. Yeah, mental yeah. castration is like so archetypal. Yeah, obviously. Oh, and, yeah, because he is, um. You know, if society, if you view society as the terrible mother, the terrible coddling, devouring, castrating mother, Mm -hmm. you know, that I'll keep you safe, but you must stay submissive to me always, but I'll keep you safe. If that's society, then, well, what's the opposite? 
Yeah. You know, it's terrible right. Tate, you know. Yeah. It's, it's the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's the right. terrible male, the terrible right. the father who right. combats the mother. And yeah. that's not to say that there aren't people who are conspiring against men in that way. Sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really dig deep there, like, there is maliciousness out there. Yeah. It's not to be like, oh, you know, they have good intentions. Like, some people don't. Sure. But a lot of people are just kind of misguided in the mm -hmm. way that they're um, running things. Yeah. yeah. Um, you yeah. know, down from, from the family all the way up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just thinking about um, this idea of society as coddling, as keeping people safe and keeping people secure, um, certainly reminds me of everything that happened in COVID, mm -hmm. you know, because it was the same thing. It was like, well, is this intentional? Or is right. this just like, is this accidental? Or is this just to keep us safe? Like, yep. well, let's, you know, are people trying to keep us in our homes and separate yep. us? Yeah. yeah. Or is it just like, uh, let's just stop the spread? Yeah. You know, right, right, it's right. like, like well, it, what, more than likely with so, the amount of people that there are running this thing. Right. It probably is a mixed bag. Exactly. And that's what exactly. Clavin's point is. Yeah. Like, right. it's, it's a conspiracy of ideas. There's yeah. some people that want to control, some people that are really afraid, and some people that just don't know one way or the other and yeah. just listening to what, what like, the authorities say. Right. right. Exactly. Right. This seems like a good idea. Let's just do it. 